In recent years, laboratories in Europe have produced thousands of zebrafish lines for biomedical research. However, in contrast to their US colleagues, the European researchers have been lacking a repository for long-term maintenance of their fish. To address this need, the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology is now opening its European Zebrafish Resource Center, EZRC for short. The EZRC is located at campus north of the KIT and uses rooms in two separate buildings. While the core of the EZRC is situated in building 223 next to the southern entrance of the campus, the quarantine room is located in building 341 in the center of the campus. Here the submitted fish lines are received. The quarantine room is accessible only to authorized personnel who must follow strict hygiene regulations. Equipped with 432 fish tanks and 240 mouse cages, it has a holding capacity of approximately 25,000 zebrafish in total and includes an internal cleaning kitchen with an autoclave. All equipment used for the quarantine room is cleaned and disinfected here and stays in the fish room. Fish lines are accepted exclusively as eggs that have been disinfected with bleach. Prior to sending them, submitters must fill a form detailing the lab of origin, the legal status, the genotype and, if applicable, assays for phenotypic identification. After a microscopic entrance examination, the fish will be raised and crossed and their identified offspring will be transferred, likewise as disinfected eggs, to the core fish room. The core facility is also subject to rigid hygiene regulations. Access is only permitted for specially trained staff who must change clothes in the security lock. A separate material lock allows to introduce clean equipment and animals meeting the highest hygiene standards. The core facility consists of two fish rooms with Aqua Schwartz aquarium systems with a total of 960 tanks and 888 mouse cages capable of housing approximately 65,000 zebrafish. Water flows into the system automatically from storage tanks in the basement. In addition, the most important water parameters are monitored electronically. For health monitoring, each system contains two separate tank units with sentinel fish that are regularly examined by a veterinarian. Live food cultures, an internal bathroom, a dishwasher, an autoclave and a washing machine for laboratory clothing make the core facility self-sustaining. The aquarium system was run in in February 2012 and is now ready to accept the first fish. In the near future, a computer and microscopes will be installed that will enable sperm freezing and in vitro fertilization to be carried out directly in the core facility. These procedures are necessary because only the most important lines can be kept as live fish, in spite of the generous size of the fish rooms, while thousands more will be kept as cryopreserved sperm samples. A molecular biology lab is located on the upper floor. Protocols for sperm freezing and in vitro fertilization have already been established here and PCR and gel electrophoresis for genotypic identification of fish lines will be performed in this lab in the future. For cryopreservation of sperm samples, three freezers are available that can keep a total of approximately 80,000 sperm samples at minus 150 degrees centigrade. Two of these cryogenic freezers are in a storage room in the core facility building. The third one is used for backup samples and is located in the same building as the quarantine room. As a safeguard in case of problems, each of these freezers is connected to a liquid nitrogen tank as well as to the campus alarm center. 
The EZRC will not just keep fish, but will also offer guest researchers the opportunity to perform systematic research on them. Selected fish lines can be reared for such screens in a separate screening fish room in building 341. The aquarium system in this room is equipped with 400 mouse cages and 612 tanks providing space for approximately 35,000 fish. The room also has its own cleaning kitchen. Technologies for automated screens will be provided by the Zebrafish Screening Center. Embryo sorters constructed at the center transfer zebrafish eggs and larvae up to an age of 120 hours to microtiter plates. For high-resolution 3D fluorescence imaging, a selective plane illumination microscope, or SPIM, is available. Three automated fluorescence microscopes and computer clusters with custom image processing software are used for intelligent high-content screening experiments of cells and embryos in microtiter plates. Last but not least, Building 341 also houses a sequencing lab with an Illumina HiSec 1000 sequencer operated by Dr. Olivier Armand. Thanks to this lab, the EZRC will also be able to offer its users a sequencing service for RNA sequencing and SNP mapping of zebrafish lines. With 10 full-time employees and a unique range of services, maintenance and distribution of live fish, cryoconservation of sperm, provision of animals and technologies for screens and sequencing, the EZRC will be serving zebrafish research from 2012 onward.